Okay guys, I am back trying to make $1 million with no job. Okay, so when we left off, we had just K-worded our second spouse. Rest in peace to our girl, Dina. Yeah, her name is Dina. <laughs> and unfortunately at our wedding, um, we did invite all of our love interests and they all hate us now. So we're in a really rough spot. The only person who doesn't hate us is Christopher, who is still our boyfriend. And the only reason he doesn't hate us is because we didn't invite him to the wedding. So he actually has no idea that I got married to someone else and then they died. He has no idea. And you know what? That's something I really appreciate about him. So. I think to start this episode off, I think I'm gonna go pay him a visit because I just wanna let him know how much I really appreciate him for just still being there by my side. Oh, well, would you look at that? Celeste isn't home. This is a perfect time for me to visit. As soon as I step foot on this property, I'm immediately in the mood. Very flirty, I'm loving that. Hi, it's me. Oh, kids. The baby is still on the kitchen floor. Like, wait, that's actually insane. That's clinical. What? Celeste is here. Ugh. I thought she wasn't. I thought it was just gonna be me and Christopher. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this a <laughs> second floor. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. I forgot how bad it was. Okay, let me go say hi to Christopher. The only person who stuck by my side. Just stay down there, Celeste. First a little kiss. And then I got this really cool thing. Check this out. <laughs> my whole chat is saying, Jen, keep going, Jen, yes. Yes, okay, damn, if you guys want me to light another one, I will. I thought it was maybe a little bit too much, but I do have one more. <laughs> Christopher, thank you so much for sticking by my side. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, Dina's calling me. Literally from the dead. Wait, hold on, I need to answer this. It's good to hear your voice, Jen. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Rita Coombs a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Dina, what are you talking about, girl? Are you not dead? This is just, oh my God. This is so typical Dina, like literally cheating on me from the dead and not even hiding it, just being straight up blunt about it. If I were you, I wouldn't do that, okay, Dina? Damn it, I'm all out of fireworks. <laughs> Oh, but I still have this. Who in my chat right now is saying, try to blow up the baby? <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that, but we can try, can we freeze the baby? Wait, that's a little bit cruel. You know, like I'm all for, for freezing adults, but it's a little cruel. Can we do the child? So we can freeze the child? Oh my god, I didn't do that. I swear to god, you guys, I did not click. I didn't click that. I didn't do that. I wait, I swear. Oh my god. Oh my god, my chat is saying I didn't steal. Oh my god, I didn't steal anything. Wait. I gotta go back. Do you guys think they're still gonna be frozen in here? Oh, what the hell? They defrosted. <gasps> Ooh, I feel like this is gonna be big money. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I really gotta figure out 
what we're gonna do because I just don't know if I'm ready to marry Christopher yet. I just really enjoy visiting him and his family and, and showing my appreciation to them. I just don't know if I'm ready to, to do that to them. There's just like this weird like attachment that I have to them. What? Uh, what? Dina cheated on me multiple times. And now there's this rumor going around town that, that I cheated on Dina. Okay, now I'll be honest, you guys. My sim did cheat on Dina once on her own. I didn't control it. She did it on her own. I, I can't help that. But it was after Dina already cheated on me. So it's just crazy there's this rumor going around town. And... I, it seems like Katrina is the one spreading it, okay? I think she's just bitter that I went after Dina and I didn't go after her. Am I having a nightmare or what's going on? I'm like making all these weird sounds. Oh my God, I'm being haunted. We need to invite Kyle back over. Oh my God, how could I forget? Every time you get married, your stay over is end. So let me, let me bring Kyle back over. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't like me. I really blew it at my, my, my wedding. I'm, okay, Kyle's back. Ooh, okay, let's see how much this telescope is worth that we stole. Seven fifty. That's huge. That is huge. Okay, so like I was saying, we really need to figure out what we're gonna do here because again, I don't know if I'm just, I'm ready to let go of Christopher just yet. So I feel like, I want to just show up to the biggest mansion on the map and introduce myself to the Sims that live there. And maybe that's how we will find our next spouse. Because I'm really trying to comfort the big bucks in this next marriage, okay? Damn, really depressing vibes here. Just all around. Hopefully me and Kyle can mend our relationship. Like, let me, let me try and... Oh my God, console about death. Okay, stop. I was gonna say, let me try and fix our relationship. I feel like he's sad because he saw me getting married and our relationship status turned red, but he's sad because he's grieving Dina because they had, they flirted with each other. They had an affair with each other. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Would you guys look at this giant mansion right here? Wow, I just have a feeling they've got a lot of money. So I think I may just show up at this big mansion and introduce myself. But first, what? Is that baby Ariel? What the f <laughs> what the f But first, we're going here. Katrina has been spreading rumors about me around town and I'm here to get my revenge. Hello, it's me. So there's two things I wanna do here. And one of them is, I wanna steal this damn piano. I tried to do it in the last episode, but I got kicked out before I could level up my mischief skill. Oh my God, look how close it is. 99% complete. I'm not 100% sure, but I think when it's level eight, I'm able to steal this piano. And you guys, I just know that's gonna be a lot of money. Oh, what can I do really quick? Like I just need 1%. Oh, I can, I can clog the pipes or whatever. I just gotta do it like really quickly before someone notices. Oh my God, that Katrina is noticing that mean, evil, nasty woman. She's coming to stop me right now. What? Uh, that mean woman. You're a mean, nasty, and bitter woman spreading rumors about me around town. You know what? Oh, oh wait, I leveled up though. But you know what, Katrina? Take this, Katrina. You are mean, evil, you're nasty. You're a mean, evil, bitter witch. You're a witch woman spreading rumors about me around town and you, oh, I stole something too. You guys see that in the top corner? And you deserve this, Katrina. Devilish behavior, spreading lies about me around town. But wow, wait, guys, a lot just happened. I leveled up to level eight and I stole something on my own. <laughs> the only bad part about stealing something on my own is that I can't steal something for another two hours. Let me see if I can even take it at all now. Oh my God, I can. 
Okay, when I came in here, I said there were two things I wanted to do. The first thing was steal the piano. The second thing is to teach Katrina a lesson. This is what you get for spreading nasty rumors about me around town, Katrina. I'm gonna light it right next to your frozen body. Maybe the ice will keep you safe, or maybe it won't. Run, 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 run! Oh my god! Oh my god, it just thawed her! <laughs> that is what you get, Katrina! You are a bitter, bitter, bitter woman spreading lies about me around town. Never say my name again. Or else next time I'll come back with more fireworks. Oh my god, this place really something else. They've got sprinklers around the whole property to put their fires out for them. Okay, let's see. Two hours until I can steal the piano. You know what, I'm gonna, let me take a shower really quick. Hopefully they'll let me do that. Katrina, you are so evil and bitter and mean. Like, what? are you kidding me? I'm completely charred and I smell like shit and I'm not allowed to take a shower in your house. And she's about to walk, like, do you think this is appropriate, Katrina, to walk in on me naked? Snacks? Oh. Oh. You oh. are so nasty and evil. I'm still charred and smell like shit. What is he doing out here? Oh, haspa haspa. Oh, nee, Bluffy. Bluffy. Um, the fire has been out for a little while now. Eight minutes. Wait, this is perfect. I hope he stays out here freaking out because there's no one inside to see me take the piano. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I just shoved that piano up my ass. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, time to introduce myself to this lovely family. I don't know anything about them, and there's no particular reason why I'm going here. I'm just kinda, I just wanna make some new friends. Okay, I'm at the Landgrab's house, you guys. It's time to go introduce myself. Oh my God, I just know they have a lot of money. I mean, look at this place. It is 1 a.m., but I see you're awake, so you have to answer the door now. Hello? What? What? What is happening? What? What? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? He's getting abducted? Wait. Hello? What? Oh my god, he's about to get anally probed. Damn it, that was the land grab that I wanted to, to marry. I wanted to meet him, flirt with him, and marry him. And he just got abducted by aliens. Like, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. What the f <laughs> What the hell is that? Listen, there's some other land grabs here. Like, there is this guy, but he's a teenager. Oh, who's this? Major land grab. Oh my god, this guy is just gonna be when he grows up He's gonna be buying everything buying every single property Airbnbs left and right apartment complexes hotels He's a major land grab and we've got the mom here Nancy land grab, but we are living the bisexual dream, you know like as a bisexual like I'm just here to go back and forth between man woman man woman our last spouse was a woman I was gonna go after the man, but damn. I mean he did just get abducted. I kind of do want to like wait until he gets back though because I I mean, I have a lot of questions. What the f just, what was that? I feel like he'll be back soon. So while I wait, you know, I'm gonna just introduce myself anyway. Let me meet the whole family. Let me do a howdy introduction. I like the way that sounds. Suli Suli, huh. Okay, bitch. I just said, I said Suli Suli to her and she just 
took her phone out. Let me just like tell some jokes. Let me be introduced to Major. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know if she likes me. Can I meet little Major? Franji Nubu? Oh, yibs. Aww, this hair color looks unnatural. Like, I'm not sure, like, can you be born with this hair color? It looks like maybe they took their baby to the salon, did a bleach and tone, and then put some dye in there. I don't know. Hi, Major. Happy joy. Really? Hello, Major. Please let me have a place to live when you get older and you grab all the land. Okay, let me put this baby down and let's go meet the son. Where is he? Hello, Malcolm. Draw voice. Zyrus. Nice to meet you. Okay, I think now is a good opportunity to look around the house and see what I'm gonna steal. Oh. Did I just steal something? Oh. He's back. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god, he's running inside. Oh wow, oh wow. Jeffrey. Okay, his name is Jeffrey. I always I used to think his name was Geoffrey. I know that's like so stupid of me, but it's kind of a crazy way to spell Jeffrey. Okay, let's go introduce ourselves. Let's do cheerful. Cheerful. He's so scared. What happened to you, Jeffrey? Don't worry, I'll cheer you up. Sabao. Nice to meet Zatorb. you. Let's let's make him feel better. Let's tell an engaging story. Bruhana Fabisi. Arvani Shop Shim Zubar. Rinka Dalba. Let's let's console him. Let's console him, okay? Wait, why he look? He looked like Ellen DeGeneres. Just with like a mustache. Listen, this isn't like our hottest conquest, but. <laughs> What is happening? Oh my god, wait, you guys, he's traumatized. Oh, I feel bad. I was just in the middle of saying, like, he's not our hottest conquest, but I think he's gonna be our richest, so we can just overlook, you know, appearance right now. And we're gonna also overlook trauma. I'm here to help. How do I help him? Bula Shaka, a beanie. Oh, so. Okay, wait. Oh my god. Wow. Therapist vibes. He's happy now. I just did something and I absorbed his fear because now I have a scared moodlet being screamed at. Let's talk about his new adventure. <laughs> and then let me flatter him. Let me discuss interests, and then we're gonna start flirting, okay? We're gonna bring on the flirtation. I'm gonna offer him a rose. Let me just pause for a second and see, where's Nancy? There she is, okay. Just gotta make sure she doesn't see this. Okay, damn, men in marriages are so easy to cheat with, like, what the hell? Like, everyone is just, they're all in. Here, you know what? I'm gonna ask him if he's single while we're standing in him and his wife's house with his two children. Jabin Ponsip, Why do every sim, like, think that about me? Bon and I can see Nancy in the other room. Pelka. Okay, wait, 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 we gotta be normal. She's coming back. What are we doing right now? Okay, we're chatting. Ask about career. Kuna. Oh, wow. He's the lead detective at SIMS. He's, oh my God, my bills just showed up. We gotta speed up this marriage. Confess attraction. Ooh, we can steal again, you guys. Okay, while I'm flirting it up with him, I'm gonna just like look around, see, can we take the TV? Oh my God, this is huge. Now that we're level eight in the mischief, we can really take some good stuff, huh? Computer? Oh my. Wow, we could take the computer now. There's three Sims in this room though, so I don't know if that's gonna work out for me, but oh, we could take this one. Oh yeah, we will be taking this. I'm gonna pause on the conversation with him and run up there and grab that really <laughs> quick. <laughs> oh my God. 
That is crazy. They let some random woman into their house at 1 a.m. and then they're gonna realize after she leaves, they're down one computer. What's up here? Oh, there's another, oh my God. Okay, well they've got four computers, so it's fine if they're just missing one of them. Okay, let's go back to flirting with him. Ooh. <laughs> Why am I flirting from across the room? Pickup line. Ooh, first kiss. <laughs> oh shit. Here comes the sun. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, he's going into the bathroom. Here, I'll make breakfast for the whole family. I'll make us some pancakes. All right, pancake time. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, they're all down here. Wait, they're not telling me to stop yet, though. Then let me cook, though. Let me cook. Some shelf. Hey, let me cook. Oh. Let me just try again. Let me cook. Oh my God. This is starting to ruin our relationship. But guess what? I finished. So get over it. And you know what? You can't even, you can't even eat these. I'm taking them home because you have a nasty attitude towards me. You're lucky I'm trying to get your money or else some bad things would happen. I think I'm going to go in their toilet and leave. This whole experience at the Landgrab's mansion was just really nice. So I think before I leave, I'm going to just do like a little thank you celebration. Come on guys. I have something really awesome I wanna do just to say, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for letting me into your home. Hi, All so right. Oh, oh shit. He was flirting with me in front of her. Oh God. Thank you guys so much for letting me into your home. Oh my God, Dina's calling me again. Okay. Just wanted to let you know I followed your advice and chose not to spend more time with Rita. Well, thank God. Rita Coombs. You know what? I'm gonna find that woman flirting with my dead wife. Just crazy. I will find her. It's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see how much money we got from the piano and the computer. Oh, wow. Oh, and we have this painting too. 200 for the painting. 1400 let's go 1400 for the piano 10 thousand dollars 10 thousand dollars for the computer you guys this is huge when we marry like an average sim they only bring 20k into the marriage so 10k is crazy that's half of a marriage part of me was like maybe we should keep the computer because it would be nice to have one at the house but we could steal a different computer we're definitely selling this one that's, that's crazy i will be going back for more computers it's time to steal I'm back. Okay, so there's three more computers here. The one that I took that was 10K looked like this one. Where the hell is Jeffrey? Let me call him, ask on date. Oh, Rubine. Ah, oh, Kisada. All right, we're going. You know, I think he was at work, but it looks like he's calling it quits, taking some time off just to meet his his hot, sexy girl, Jen McAllister. Should we go to Rattlesnake Juice? I almost feel like we should go to a different world just so we don't bump into Nancy. Should we go to Chestnut Ridge and do the hoedown throwdown? That could actually be like a fun date for me and Ellen. All right, Jeffrey, welcome to the, the Wild West. Let's get on in here and get ourselves a drink. 
<gasps> Look who's here! Judith! What is she doing here? Oh, Kyle's calling me. Hey Jen, I think I have a crush on Judith Ward. Do you think it's worth a try? Now you gotta be f***ing kidding me. I'm out here and who do I see out? Judith Ward and I, who do I get a call from? Kyle, asking about his crush on Judith Ward and whether or not he should give it a try. This is just, just wow. Wait, hold on. What if we say yes and somehow Kyle does get to talk to Judith. Because listen, I was about to say, I don't think she's a good fit for you because if I can't talk to Judith Ward, how is Kyle gonna be able to? But what if Kyle can somehow like break through to Judith and they like form a relationship? Who's always staying at my house? Kyle. Who will show up at my house to see Kyle? Judith Ward, okay? And let's be real, marriage hasn't really stopped us with any relationship in this playthrough so far because our goal isn't necessarily to be a good person, it's just to make a million dollars with no job. So if they end up getting married or in a relationship, that's fine. This is a level 1000 IQ move, you guys. I think romance is in the air. I, I really think it's in the air. I'm just gonna ignore her for now and then focus on my very handsome date. Yeah. All right, so let's talk. We need to sit and talk with my date. We need to flirt with it. Can you get... Can you go away, Judith? This is just, like, wow. Oh no, you're so right. Someone in the chat said, what if Nancy sees you guys in these pop photos? Seriously, like, Judith is ruining everything. I just hope my level 1000 IQ play here ends up working out for me in the end, because this is... Oh my god, the paparazzi are getting all angles of us. Just in case they couldn't see my face in the other angle, here I am over here. Why is my date embarrassed? This is too much. Like, actually, can we go upstairs, Jeffrey? Let's go sit up here. I'm getting like so- She was just sat at our f***ing table! Oh my god, I'm going upstairs. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's hungry. Okay, well, let me give him a kiss. He could eat my lips. I'm gonna look deeply into eyes. Snuggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. This looks like two women. <laughs> like, he really does look like Ellen. Dead ass Ellen and Portia. <laughs> He's hungry. Well, he can eat these lips. Like I said, eat these lips. Oh my God, we can't passionate kiss anymore because I'm so sad. Get back here. Oh, can I just cheer up? What the hell? Maybe if I go do the hoedown throwdown, I'll feel a little bit better. <gasps> what? Oh, look who I just sat down with at this table. Oh my god, she definitely put a, a tracking device on Jeffrey because how did she know we were here? This is really pissing me off. She's crashing our date. We're at silver. We could get gold here, but here she is just popping up right here. Get, yep, that's right. Go home. I'm trying to have some more moments with my man over here. I'll give him a romantic gift. Oh, I'll give him a romantic mushroom. I think I'll like that actually. He loves it. He loves it. Oh, no way is this mean, evil, bitter woman here. This mean, evil, bitter woman. She's following me around. Maybe I have a tracking device on me that she's tracking my location on. You know what? I'm gonna give her a show she'll never forget. No, get back here. No, 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 no. Get back inside. I have a, a gift for you. Get back here. Yes. 
She heard it. She heard it. She turned her head. She turned her head and she heard it. Wait, Jeffrey just gave me a note, by the way. He gave me a, a gift along with a lovely message. My heart leaps. Wait, gift? Hold on. What did I get? Oh, a rose. Okay. Thank you, Jeffrey. Only $29, but it's, it's something. A gift with a lovely message. My heart leaps when you are near. I love you more and more each and every day. Damn, he's already dropping the L word. He's dropping the L word and we're not even in a relationship yet. And he's married with two children. That's actually a little, a little bit of a red flag. Katrina, I'm gonna beat you up. I am gonna go beat you up. Mischief, pranks, trick with hand buzzer. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Because you're a bitter woman, I'll never forget how you treated me at your house. And I'll never forget those rumors you're spreading about me around town. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you get oh. for being an evil woman. No, I love mischief. And you know what else you can get from me? You can get mean gift. You can get a mean gift from me too, you mean, evil, bitter woman. Take this. Special wrapping paper and all. Yup, that's what you get, girl. That is what you get. And I'm out of here. I'm going home now. We're back home and I'm going to clean myself up a little bit and I can steal again now. And I don't know you guys, these computers are bringing in a lot of money. So I feel like I should go out and grab another while I can. Like check this out. Another 10K right here. Boom. Oh, and I got a, a single rose for my date. I would keep this, but it's $200. So I'm gonna take that instead. Can I get over the death of my last spouse soon? Like, wow. What happened to my shower? Kyle, can you get in there and fix that, please? Oh my God, he's doing it. My hero. Oh, oh, and start fixing it too, please. Why is it all crusty? Cause I'm always covered in like tar and soot from lighting fireworks and showering in there all the time. That's probably why. All right, we got to sleep a little bit because we have no energy, but as soon as we have a little bit of energy, I think we got to go out there and get another computer really quick because, oh, oh, 24 hours to pay your bills before your water is shut off. Wow, this is sick and twisted. The land grab power company has shut off the power to your house. Like I'm fucking the owner. Are you serious? Here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay my bills. I'm gonna go to the library really quick and take one of their computers because I think they might have the really expensive ones there. And then I'm going back to the land grabs and getting it in with the owner of the power company because turning my power off for what? Like you're about to get this box, you know? All right, we're at the library. Let me see if they've got the real expensive computers here. Okay, this one. Not as expensive as I was hoping for. I don't know. I guess it's still worth taking, huh? Yeah, I'll grab one anyway. Here, let me grab the one downstairs because I don't think anyone's down there yet. All right, go, 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 go. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, let's go back to the land grabs. All right, I'm back. Uh -huh. It's time for Ellen to munch this box. <laughs> Where is he? Oh. Who's this? Oh no, it's Jeffrey. But what? Oh, oh my God, you guys. You're gonna think I'm absolutely delusional for this, but I thought Jeffrey was wearing a metal strainer like that you'd like drain pasta in on his head. And I thought it was because he had just got abducted by aliens and he was like, you know, losing his mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought he was like wearing like a metal hat to like ward off the aliens. From back here, doesn't it kind of look like a strainer? <laughs> I was like, oh no, he's really lost it. This box is open for business, baby. Get up here. <laughs> All right. Listen, uh, Jeffrey, I got this little note in the mail and it just made me really upset, but I was thinking maybe you could do something about it for me. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, hello? No! What about our woohoo? Work can wait. You could be you could be late to work, please. No, 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 no. Munch this box. Please, please, please. He's just he's leaving. I think he's leaving.
He has lights to shut off. So true. He's gonna go shut off more lights. Whatever. Where's Nancy? I'm sick of this shit. I'm gonna start flirting with Nancy. Hello! Malcolm, look away! Fatimoy. Off her rose, off her rose. <laughs> Malcolm in the middle for real. <laughs> Can these children go somewhere else? Malcolm, pick up your brother Major and leave, please. Come on, let's sit here together. Wait, Nancy's so into it so quickly. Let me whisper some sweet nothing. Nancy, why is your son sitting down on the couch with us? This has become a very awkward encounter. It's almost time for me to steal something. Do you guys think I should go after the TV or should I go upstairs? And go after an oh my god. I was gonna say, should I go after another computer, but this baby is up here. The baby can catch me stealing, unfortunately. It doesn't really make any sense. I could pick it up and move it. Put Major down here, okay. No! <gasps> Malcolm's coming up now. Oh my god. I bet he's about to use the computer too. No! I'm gonna go up here and yell at him and like make him go away. <laughs> Go away, go away. Oh, he's leaving on his own. <gasps> no! Oh no! My sim just tried to steal on her own and got caught. Eight hours until you steal again! Malcolm, this is all your damn fault. Why didn't you just go away when I said go away? I know this is your house, but get out. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. I think maybe I might be able to do some drugs to get rid of this moodlet because it's a negative one. Moodlet solver. Okay, let's get it. I just gotta get him out of here though. I'm gonna keep shooing him. We're about to have like a terrible relationship, but whatever. Go away. I'm your new mean evil stepmommy. Get out of here. Oh my God, why won't he leave? Okay, wait, I have a better idea. I'm going to add to group and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go, go here together. Okay, it worked, it worked. And I'll go up here and take your computer. Damn, is Jeffrey home yet? Oh my God, he is. This is so perfect, you guys. Everything has lined up. Perfectly. I got to flirt a little with Nancy. I got to become Malcolm's mean, evil stepmommy because I'm about to get engaged to his father. And his father just came home just in time for us to get engaged because I'm about to open this box up for business and ask him to be my boyfriend and then ask him to marry me. Let me give him a rose. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, he loves it. Okay, ask oh. to be boyfriend. Vimpa. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, and now... Come get this box! Where are you going? No way is he going to sleep. Are you f***ing kidding me? Bon and gravy? Oh, yes. <gasps> Guys, Kyle is calling. He's gonna have an update about Judith. <gasps> oh my god! No way, it worked. You won't believe it. Judith Ward is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Oh my God. Congratulations, Kyle. I really am just so happy for you. I cannot believe this. Not Nancy walking in as I'm opening my box for business. Nancy, oh. What is Nancy wearing? Nancy, what is your job? Leaving for work at 8 p.m. wearing that? Very suspicious, but whatever. Got some <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's happening. Let's give him a little privacy. <laughs> Oh no, where is Malcolm going? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh <gasps> no way is he walking in here on this. Does he not knock on his parents' bedroom door? Like, this is crazy. And he's just gonna stand there. Can you please leave? No way. Dancing? Where am I? Well, I'm about to just go dance. What am I doing? Oh, it 
Sydney. <laughs> Me after the box gets munched, am I right? Oh shit, here he comes. <laughs> Is this Malcolm's room? All right, let's seal the deal, you guys. We got to ask Jeffrey to marry us. This is the perfect time. Malcolm's already aware of what's going on and Nancy's not home, so wake up. It's time to get married. We got to um, make our friendship a little bit higher. So let me do a little bit of small talk. Let me get to know him, discuss interests, do some stuff like that. Oh. 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 I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Um, wow, you know what? It's crazy because I don't actually, not yet because um, we're not married. God, you guys, why does this keep happening to me? These people just become so obsessed and they don't even realize I've been stealing right from under them. I'm gonna get him to marry me, so let me work on this. Get back here. Tell engaging story. Oh my god, we're rescued in Malcolm's room. Tell a funny story. No! Caress cheek. Can he not sleep? I'm trying to get engaged! Droga. He wants to sleep Orbiter. so badly. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Maybe I should just go home, make a meal, and invite him over. Oh, also. Let's sell those computers, you guys. $4,000 each. <gasps> this is just, oh my God. And a $1,000 painting. This is everything. Let's invite Jeffrey over. We need to get engaged now. Okay, he's coming. <gasps> Here he is. Oh God, wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I want him to see the inside of my house yet. Because he has a huge mansion, and I, I know, like, it's really nothing special from the front, but, like, there'll be, like, this air of mystery if he never sees the inside. Like, maybe he'll think it's better inside than it actually is, so let's just, let's just stay outside. Let's go, go here together. No, 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 over here. Yes, okay. Oh, it's because he's already married? Convince the leave spouse. We have to do that. This whole time I thought it was because our friendship wasn't high enough. Let's see if he's gonna do it. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> what the f that's, that's actually kind of sick and twisted. Okay, we can propose now. Oh, Ebon. <laughs> Bro, I'm so dominant one getting down on one knee. Back in yes. And he said yibs! Oh, he said yibs! Oh. <laughs> and what a beautiful place for an engagement. We're all lined up to make a lot of money. So I think this is a really good place to end today's episode. You can go yeah, home now no. though, because I don't want it's you to see the inside of my house right yet. So, uh. so. Okay guys, wow. What a crazy episode. We made so much progress. Like we made a lot of money and we're about to make a lot more because in the next episode, we will be marrying Jeffrey. We'll be having our wedding and it's gonna be big. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye YouTube.